just in after all the speculation, you put pen to paper on a new contract and you stay at the Ospreys. You must be pretty chuffed at that. Yeah, very happy to be honest. It's um, you know it's a long process and you know a lot of speculation and you know to have the speculation of those teams is obviously something of privilege. But it was always my intention to stay with the Ospreys and um, you know this this club is going places and I want to be part of it. You say the club is going places. There's a lot of talk about the young squad. You're still pretty young yourself, but you're a senior figure in the group. So, one, it's important part role that you've got to play, you know, in helping the team reach its potential. And two, it's probably an exciting time for you as well to be working with so many young players with so much, so many prospects. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's just look at some of the signings for next year and some of the young boys coming through. They're always improving, um, and and it, you know, it just shows in the Heineken Cup, uh, in the European Cup this year that. You know, we're so close, but it's just that extra inch or two which will push us on to the next stage. You're local boy, Trapanos proud through and through, and you've got a young family, you've got involvement with the rugby club as well, so it all adds up to a picture that sometimes it's not just about money, it's about the whole package and what can be offered to you as a family man. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can't just think about, obviously, uh, money or clubs and, and, all, and all that stuff of it. Um, you know, it goes where you're from, really. If... You know, if you're happy and you know you've got good friends and family around you, it's it's obviously a big part of your decision. Is there any messages from Tandy? Have you had any conversations with him since putting pen to paper? What's he t what's he spoken to you about? <laughs> <laughs> nothing really. Just had been a headlock or two, but uh, just a bit of banter. Nothing much. <laughs> and you've got another three years beyond this season, so really, it's about it's an exciting time for the Ospreys. And by the time that that contract's up in three years' time, hopefully, you'd have achieved great things with the region. Yeah, definitely, and you know, I I think that's one of the main reasons I you know we we're, we're trying to oh he's there he's put me off look at that just be in there he's put me off. What? What's that? What's Yeah, you know, it's um, she was Steve in charge. Uh, you know, hopefully we can go places and the guys that. Coming in, as I said earlier, are, are going to make us better, and you know we are improving game by game, and you know it's it's, it's only going to be a matter of time where we are getting out to the European Cup stages. We we are as you as we are at the minute in the playoff spots, and you know looking to be on top of the league at the end of the season, and that's what we're all about. We're all about winning trophies and not just happy making the numbers up. We've talked long term, but short term. Christmas is coming. Derby matches, back to back games against the Scarlets. Something everybody the Ospreys should be pretty excited about. Yeah, everyone is, you know, um, and you know it's it's good tradition. It's like your local rugby, you know. You all always want to win your derby games, and you know, being an Ospreys fan, and there's a number of us here. We always want to try and win that Scarlet game, but they're exactly the same. They want to try and get one over on us. Um, so it's always a, a little bit of banter going around, and hopefully it'll be a good entertaining game.